Hey everybody, Kevin Barnett here, Carbide 3D, and we're right down on the production floor here with our Shapeoko Pro XXL. And today we're gonna add the Bitrunner V2 to our setup here, just as you can at home. A further automation of your making process. You're gonna have fewer prompts, you're gonna have more autonomy in the shop. It's gonna let you know when you need to change bits. It's gonna control your router in a way you've never had before. All right, let's dive into it. Bitrunner V2 is designed to be located right next to an outlet, whether that's next to the wall or perhaps for you, you have a cart or an enclosure, you can attach it to that. It's designed to be put in a spot and left. You'll never see it again. Get the connections established and then enjoy the fact that it works on your machine without being seen. First thing, let's dive into what's in the box when you order a Bitrunner, what do you get? When you purchase Bitrunner V2, you'll either get the standard or the deluxe indicated here. Box looks the same. The material is going to look the same. Remember, hey, tell us what you're making, will you? Let us know. Get involved with us. Either at Shapeoko and make sure you give us a follow at Carbide3D if you haven't done that already. We'll take the Bitrunner out. Just a few parts, but everything you need is contained in the box. Bitrunner V2 comes in two configurations. One has an extra EMI filter, that's the Deluxe. The other is the standard. The reason you'd want the Deluxe is if you're having some sort of power hits, if you have some funky power situation going on in your shop, or maybe if you're in one of those dry climates. I think of Colorado along the Front Range, others think of Salt Lake City, somewhere where during winter, you're gonna have a lot of static discharge you probably wanna go for the deluxe version then with that filter so you don't experience any kind of EMI disconnects. That's up to you. You'll have to assess your own individual situation and choose accordingly. For Shapeoko 4 and Shapeoko Pro users, this is plug and play. If you're running a Shapeoko 3, it's gonna depend on when you bought that machine, what board you have in your machine. I've linked the instructions below in the description. There's also a little bit of text there that will help you decide are you ready for Bitrunner automatically? If you have one of our newer machines, you're all set. When I said the manufacturing floor, you didn't think I meant the actual floor, but here we are underneath our Pro XXL and getting ready to install the Bitrunner. Few easy connections to put this in is not a hard process. Already plugged it into the power. You go ahead and take the other power end. You're gonna plug in your router to that side. That's done, that's number one. Number two, your optional connection is gonna be that of your ground. So you don't have to mess with a screw, you don't have to go interior, this is straight plug and play. Now the control pendant is done with this ethernet cable. Very simple, we've all used ethernet cables, snap that in. So we've made one, two, three connections, one to go, and that is to go to the control board. This is it here, also just snaps in, you'll see the little cleat, bang, it's all done. All the connections made, take this, Put it under your machine and you'll never see it again. With our below connections established, go ahead and connect your ground wire and M5 screw into one of the two pre-drilled holes and then some zip ties gets you done. Where before it used to be, what board do I have? I can open it up, then I can put the piece in or maybe it'll fit or maybe it won't. This is plug and play. This thing is ready to go. Shape Oko 4, Shape Oko Pro. You simply take it and plug it right in. To plug in your spindle lockout, Simply take it, ethernet cable, put it right in the bottom, and you are in business. Mount the pendant wherever you'd like. I have it on the front of the machine. You power on your machine, you power on your pendant. That means the router is active. Okay, everything's been reassembled. We've put our ground wire all the way up to the Z axis. We've gone ahead and mounted our pendant here, and we're plugged into the control board. Next step, go into the software and let it know you're using Bitrunner V2. Again, simplicity is the key carbide motion. Do not initialize your machine yet. Go to settings, click has automated spindle control. Then you're gonna to wanna to send the configuration information to your machine. Wait for that process to complete. Then you'll initialize your machine and you are all set. For a project, get your tool all set in the router. Go ahead and power on your pendant. Come on over and touch off on the bit setter. Here's the real beauty of this. You're running mid-project, you need a tool change. The machine will stop, go ahead and turn off the router. This is very similar behavior to that of a Nomad, and then come to the front as you would normally expect for a tool change. 
Be sure you turn off the pendant and disable the power to your router before you get in there with your wrenches and your hands. Once that bit is tightened, go ahead and re-enable your pendant. The router is active once again, it will touch off, and then back to the project. There it is, easy to install, a nice addition to your machine. You're adding some automation, some more magic to the way your machine functions. Remember options, the EMI filter, optional at purchase. The grounding wire install, optional while you're installing it. If you're experiencing electrical issues, you may wanna go with one or both of those things. If you're running a reoccurring process, this might be for you. If you are worried about reaching in to shut your router off, if it grabs a part or if it's deep in a cut, and you want the ability to turn the router off without being anywhere near the business end of your machine, this might be for you. The beauty of it is you attach it, you configure it, and you're gonna forget that it's even there. It's just gonna be how your machine functions. And after a while, it'll feel like this is always the way it's been. Bitrunner V2 is available now. And just one more way Carbide 3D is trying to add to your CNC experience.